Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Educational Specialist, and today we will be going over multi step word problems for grades 5th through 7th, and we will be using decimals. Our first problem says One day at the farmer's market, a customer purchased a box of mangoes for $3.25 plus $0.26 cents tax. If she uses $20, how much will she get back in change? With our problem solving strategy number one, we are going to figure out what we are looking for. Secondly, we want to find out what information is needed to solve the problem. Let's get started. What are we looking for? We are trying to find out how much money the customer will get back in change. What information do we need to solve the problem? One, we need to know the total amount for the box of mangoes plus tax. Secondly, we need to know how much money she paid for her purchase. Let's look at step one. The total amount for the box of mangoes plus tax. In our problem, it states that the box of mangoes were $3.25 plus the tax is 26 cents. We will need to add those together to find the total amount. $3.25 or $3.25 plus 26 cents is equal to $3.51. So the total amount for the box of mangoes and tax is $3.51. Secondly, we need to find out how much money she paid for her purchase. In our word problem, it states she uses $20. That was pretty simple. So the amount of money she paid for her purchase is $20. Now that we have the information we need to solve the problem, Let's figure out what we need to do to find the answer. Since we're trying to find out how much money she will get back, we will need to subtract the um, amount of money she, they, she gave them for the purchase minus $3.51. $20 minus $3.51 is equal to sixteen dollars and forty nine cents so our question how much will she get back in change the answer is sixteen dollars and forty nine cents let's look at our next word problem in an effort to save money for a car, Irving started walking to work instead of spending $1.25 for the bus each way to and from work. After 17 days of work, how much money has he saved? We need to find out, one, what we are looking for, and number two, what information is needed to solve the problem? What are we looking for? We are trying to figure out how many 
Well, how much money has Irvin saved after 17 days? What information do we need in order to solve the problem? We need to know how much it costs for him to go to work each day and also how many days is he saving or how many days of savings. Okay, number one, how much it costs for him to go to work each day. In the problem it says it costs a dollar twenty five cents for the bus each way to and from work. So when Irvin goes to work, he pays a dollar and twenty five cents, and when he goes from work to home, he pays another dollar and twenty five cents. So a dollar twenty five to go to work plus a dollar twenty five to come from work is equal to two dollars and fifty cents again because this was kind of tricky he pays a dollar twenty five to catch the bus to work and then from work to home he has to pay another dollar twenty five to catch the bus so one a dollar twenty five plus a dollar twenty five is equal to two dollars and fifty cents Also, we need to know how many days of savings he has. In the problem, it says after 17 days of work. So that's pretty self-explanatory. We're trying to find out how much he has saved after 17 days. Okay. In order to find out how much money he has saved, we are going to multiply the total amount of money he paid for each day to go to and from work, that is $2.50, times the number of days of savings, which is 17 days. We have 250, I apologize, not 250, $2.50 times 17 days is equal to $42.50. So after walking to work for 17 days, Irving has saved $42.50. That's pretty good. Today we have went over uh, multi-step word problems for grades 5th through 7th using decimals. Talk to you soon.